I think we should probably start with a short introduction of, of who you are and where you are and where you studied so that um, you know, people watching can have an indication of your context and your background. My name is Jamie Slebush. I'm currently a partner at Tokyo Sandberg. I studied through UNISA part-time throughout my journey. I qualified as a chartered accountant in 2019. After that, um, I subsequently did my registered auditor course, which I qualified shortly after then. Um, I've been with the firm for about 12 years now. Okay. All right. So you did you did your articles while you were studying. Okay. So you're one of those. I did. I was working while I studied, but I only started articles later. Uh, okay. I'm never sure. You students always ask me which is which is better, study full time, do articles. So as a quick question, students sort of have the idea that studying is a lot easier if you're doing articles while you're studying, because then you know the stuff that you're working. Did you did you find that? No. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. Because <laughs> what you need the most is time. Right. Yeah, like, I, I tell everyone that comes for interviews is if you've got the opportunity, study at least up until CTI full time. But not everyone's got that opportunity no, no. to do study full time up until you get CTI. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah told, I, I have exactly the same advice. Yeah, because not that, everyone can. No. Mm. But doing CTI and articles at the same time is soul destroying. So, yeah. Thank you. I I I, to I totally agree with you. I think that they'll be very very well. All right. So, as an order partner, um, it, are there things that you didn't expect you were going to come across? Well, maybe I might have been oblivious, but. I was an audit manager and a senior audit manager and I was highly involved in running audits, overseeing multiple audits at the same time. So I was just audit focused, you know. Mm. So And you only saw the partners come and go into meetings, conversations, emails, but I don't think you actually know what they're busy doing. So, yeah. so when I started, obviously... I only started getting exposed to it as I started my associate role. Mm. Um, but what was quite surprising is that you're doing so many things at the same time. And you're not just only involved in audit now. You are now also um, responsible for ensuring tax compliance, tax returns. You also now need to consult. Clients phone you because you build a relationship with your clients. Yeah. So they phone you ask you for advice, what should I do, what's the best way about going this. Um, so I think that was quite um, a surprise to me. I had now to start making these decisions. So, yeah, I think the consulting was was quite uh, surprising. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I think you deal from an audit point of view, you deal with your client only when the audit is performed. So when you're a manager on yeah, the audit, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to deal with the client when you do the audit. But when you are in an associate or an audit partner role, you could deal with them on a day-to-day -day basis um, based mm. on consult mm. or, or other business aspects that uh, needs your input. So I think being highly involved, more highly involved with your clients mm. was quite surprising and just building on the existing relationship that, mm. that was already there. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's oblivious. I think that's just a reality that we're not exposed to when we're in the system. We don't yeah. realise. Like, uh, I, I mean, different firms have different processes, but um, I know one of the things that a lot of students don't realise is that moving into audit partner role means that you become co-owner, which also to a large extent means and again as I say different firms structure this differently you need to go and find clients as well yeah so it's your responsibility to go and find clients it's like no one told me you'd need to be a salesman <laughs> as well and I mean it's not like we ever had any sales training right yeah. I, I mean I hate sales I, I as I, I run my own business so I'm very aware of all of this rubbish and it's horrible it's I mean yeah. you I, I'm like I thought CTA was bad sales is so much worse than CTA yeah. <laughs> well, luckily for us, um, all our inquiries come through our website, 
um, yeah. or, or phoning at least. So I think that was also something I dealt with quite immediately is inquiring. Mm. Mm. Um, can you do these services? How much would you would you charge for it? So I think that in the, immediately became a whole new role that I was exposed to, which I just had to make sure that I deal with it properly. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely it's an it's an unexpected. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. at what now? 